Hello Internet, my name is Mike and today I'm doing a let's play on a game that I helped create at a jam about two weeks ago. Uh, it was actually at the OCVR jam where we had to create an educational game in the Rift. So here we go. We got some instructions here telling you what you gotta do. Basically you just gotta aim at blocks heading towards you and type the word on the block. If you get hit five times, that's game over. We got our high score and the score that we end up with and we got a virtual keyboard that we can uh, use to orient ourselves if we get lost. So here we go. Start. Yeah, M. So again, you can see the keys that you're uh, pressing on. H Z. Q. It's a bit of a slow start in the beginning, but the difficulty eventually ramps up quite a bit. Eventually we start getting full words. They get longer and longer. We also have a little score right here that says how many letters we've actually typed successfully. So right now I'm at 12. There we go. First words. Okay and okay. Hi. Hello to you too. F. So this prototype prototype only took about I don't know, 35 hours to make over a weekend. And it's currently the build we're gonna use to submit to IndieCade to hopefully get in this year. Although, if we make it in any cave, we'll probably switch this over to a different engine. Maybe. It's trying to get intense. We're at 60 right now. Ten. So, the point of this game would be to hopefully teach people how to type without actually looking at their keyboard. So a lot of people... Oh no. Crowd. Oh no. Crowd. Oh god. Boy. Shame. Anyway, a lot of people seem to have a habit of looking at the keyboard while they type. And then when they type, while looking at their keyboard, they actually could do a lot more by looking away. So it kind of helps promote multitasking. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Where I'm typing, talking about what I'm seeing, what I did, and try not to die. H, bat, book, pencil, woman, flower. We're at 182. Oh no. I think that the highest score we have right now is 390. And it was not me who made it that far. So yes, that means someone beat me on my own game. Ornament, tomatoes, brown, snake, clam, immersion, immersion, tomatoes, corn, oh god. Well, there we go. I got to 279. That's basically it. I think I'll try it again real fast. See if I can get better. P. L. It's gonna take a while to get really going again. Yeah, game is made on the Unity engine, if anyone's curious. Like a lot of VR games. I'll uh, put a credits list on people who worked on this version in the description too. Q. 
F N N F Alright. Let's get this going. Come on. Fifty-five. Corn. Corn. Eventually, want to add different ways where we can teach people different languages by having pictures of stuff and the translation of the word in a different language. So hopefully, teach people. How to say apple in more than one language. Or crayon. Crayon. Cray. Oh no. Oh god. I'm embarrassing myself in my own game. There we go. I'm even still talking to the mic. I have no idea where it is right now. <laughs> Alright, 230. Immersion. Dirt. Furniture. You at Lake. Man, ornament. It's always hard to type. So is immersion for some reason. H. Oh no. Hat. Hat. And oranges. Toothbrush. Tomatoes. Oh. Well, there you go. 353. It's not bad. Right. That was the prototype VR typing trainer. Thanks for watching.